Hey guys, about to shoot this wicked looking brand new Smith & Wesson MNP12. Smith was good to me a few years ago. Got me an extra mag, the shirt and the hat I'm wearing. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to check out this bad boy. Good for home defense. Possibly really good for law enforcement because of the two tubes. So you could have uh, buckshot, you know, maybe like flight control double aught or number one even better. Perhaps um, on, you know, one side of the tube that's ready to go and uh, buckshot or uh, slugs on the other side. Uh, they're cheapest slugs here. It's an expensive day. Winchester, two and three quarter, but at 1600 the new segmenting. I think I've seen a couple videos. This actually works really good for home defense if you didn't want to get shot. Um, and it segments into three. So for regular people, usually house defense, home defense, are like number one buck. Uh, reduced recoil. Uh, if you're in an apartment, maybe number four flight control, if you can still find it, if they're still making it. And, uh, you know, for law enforcement, you know, maybe double out, triple out, whatever, maybe flight control, maybe not, and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, two tubes, seven on each side, so 15 total, 14 plus one, seven, seven, or two and three quarter. I think it's six and six, which with three inch, one video, I don't think it needs an adapter functioning fine with mini shells. Most importantly, I'm a big fan of mini shell buckshot for home defense. I think that's even better than the other and for people that, you know, don't want as heavy recoil. Overall length, about 27 and a half inches and it's, you know, heavy. It's like over eight pounds, I think. But that puts you in the ballpark of like a K, um, um, the kel -Tec. Uh, I'm about to review the ATI Bulldog. That's a little bit shorter, uh, that's semi-auto and uh, things like that. Anyway, it looks cool. One thing to, to consider though, is this is how you switch from side to side. This is how you release AR style. Really nice grip, really nice grip and texturing. Um, and uh, I guess that's about it. But so I just laid it on the right side, which a lot of people are going to do and want to go from the right tube. If this lays on the right side, like on my right side in the bed, that pushes it over without you knowing it. Let's see if I can do this. That pushes it over to the left side. Be very, very aware of that you don't want to be using slugs in your house or family uh, as your first choice because you laid it on the wrong side. So be aware of that. And maybe you just want to keep buckshot or mini shells in it. It looks like it functions with mini shells. I really wash uh, to test that today. So we'll see. All right, guys, take a look. Repping Smith & Wesson. Why am I repping Smith & Wesson? Because about four or five years ago, about five years ago, six years ago, Smith & Wesson, customer service. There was a lady there, worked there for like 30, 35 years. She was phenomenal. She hooked me up. She got things fixed. She got things back to me. She get, got me a hat, a shirt, I think like one or two extra magazines. Now I lost all my contacts. Smith & Wesson, you know I do reviews. How about I get a T&E account? I just emailed you. I've emailed before. Everyone I can uh, and the people that I knew don't work there anymore. I T&E for other big companies trying to be fair. Smith & Wesson, how about getting a hold of me? All right, the new M&P 12 Shotgun, this thing seems awesome. Just under 28 inches, eight pounds, uh, two and three quarters, seven each tube, the dual tube, seven, seven plus one. You know, kind of great for SWAT and law enforcement. I went through SWAT school. Um, I think it could be very, very useful, especially because that dual feed type of mechanism. You're possibly even gonna get around 10 round limit laws. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, you'd have to check and all that. Um, so, seems very high quality, love the grip. And uh, let's go. Uh, I got seven rounds, I believe, uh, in each tube. And things are going to be really interesting because the first four in a tube, and I'm at seven yards, I'm bad guy, and then I'll probably go to two in the other tube, are uh, pretty, pretty spicy 1600 segmenting new Winchester rounds that actually are really good for home defense for some reason if you didn't want buckshot. Um, and then we got three mini shell slugs in each tube. Let's see if it functions good with those as well. I'm really excited about it. If it does, I think I've seen at least one video. I don't think any adapter is needed. So we got seven and seven. And uh, let's do one tube. I got the left tube selected because the gun's on its right side. It pushes it. I got my left tube selected just because it's on its right side. Why? Because if I sleep with a short, short barrel shotgun for home defense, which is my plan, um, if the one I'm about to uh, raise functions good, um, it's ready to go. Uh, in this case, though, it pushes it to the left because people want to be aware of that. So, uh, and the way that I put it in corners, usually corners to the left, if I got a uh, shotgun there, not chamber loaded, not chamber loaded, it falls, even a short one, less likely to go off, but a short, you know, a long, old one, not exactly drops in, or in the car, chamber empty in the car, uh, cruiser ready, okay? 
Uh, so anyway, let's start with the left chamber, and it's going to hurt my shoulder, and I'm a pistol guy, not a shotgun guy. Keep that in mind. Um, hopefully this is zeroed. It's it got a regular air riser size Sig Sawyer uh, Romeo 5. I think it's uh, the exact same one that Holosun uh, sells, if I remember correctly, which I'm familiar with. So uh, it might be a slightly different model I'm familiar with. But um, so it should be the same, like maybe two inches low until we go to 25 yards, just like uh, you typically would on AR. It's like one and seven eighths inch, I think. So if you wanted a T-box, you actually shoot the top of the forehead. All right, keep that in mind for hostage stuff, uh, you know, situations. AR style, safety, I love the grip. And, and you got like four different grip adapters, I think. Boom, here we go. If it runs with mini shells, this would be great for a lot of people. A lot of people. Mini shell bucks, awesome stuff for, for home defense. Okay, without over penetration through walls. Uh, and low recoil. Okay. So anyway, here we go. All right, I'll go for upper thoracic cavity first, remembering to aim high, leaning in. And uh, I'm not going to reload again, so i got to hit my release. You can do that with your forefinger. Can you guys see that? So forefinger here. Boom rack, boom rack. Thank you, Paul Harrell. Boom rack. Let's see if I can boom rack. Whoa, baby. Holy shit. 1,600 feet per second. And should be empty. There we go. Perfect function. Perfect function's pretty darn good. Was super hot. Two and three quarters. Followed by... Followed by... One and three quarters mini shell slugs. If it works perfectly with mini shell... Fucking slugs. This might be a very good option for a lot of people. Guns need to start being designed. A semi-auto with like a Uzi style semi-auto with a from, from you know straight magazine for mini shells. Anyway, so uh, that's pretty awesome. Mini shells at like just over 1,200 feet per second. Uh, the slug might be a little faster, or like 1,250. That was 1,600. Let's look at this guy. And then I'll try to bust it off before my battery dies. We got a few minutes left, guys. All right, first shot, upper thoracic, pretty perfect. I thought it was just a little high. I dropped my aim point again. Remember, guys, uh, sight over bore. So you got sight over bore a lot like that. Boom, 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 boom. All, all A zone at seven yards on this knife wielding bad guy. All A zone, first time with this bad boy, 1600 feet per second. I believe these actually do well. The Winchester loads. I uh, put the box away. So it actually breaks in a three. That might be an option some people like. Um, and then one, two, three. I will take that, that, and that any day, especially that. Um, you know, even like, you know, SWAT situation. Okay? Even rudimentary stuff. Pretty good. I mean, I could see a lot of uses for this. You know, buckshot, even that proprietary, like, stuff, simply for door locks. Buckshot still, like, might do the job. And then I got bucks for the entry and slugs if I need to because you shoot out around a car. Buckshot, try to get the bad guys, blow out the windows. And then they're ducked down and they're doing this inside the car. Slugs through the door. That's why I select the switch for the two. Might be really good. All right, run out of time. And let's see if I can put this back. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to... You want to see me go fast or put it back farther? Let's go to 15 yards. Heck. I might, I, might, I might do a couple fast and, and some slow. Maybe I'll purposely do one slow, but everyone I've seen it worked right. Okay, so I'm empty, guy. That was the left tube. Remember, it's upside down inverted when you load. Boom, and that's how easy it is. Remember to release it. You can actually reach with your forefinger or pull down with your opposite hand. That's a good design. Safety, obviously, we're all familiar with that. That's a damn good design. All right, so I need to hit this release because I don't think I racked. I don't think, I think I'm chamber empty. I believe I'm chamber empty. Let's see. Oh, I'll just rack it because I, I fired last, so okay. Boom, safety off. 15 yards. Here we go. Woo! I said woo. Boom rack. I went a little too fast. I should do one slow. Let's try and do one slow. Oh my god, get out of my house! You son of a bitch! That was a little high right. Okay, I think I got mini shells now. Let me go for headshots. Drop it! Drop it, man! Let the girl go! Let her go, man! 
Let her go! Ten empty. Wow, this thing's awesome. Smith & Wesson, give me a TV account, Raider account, hook me up, email me, deadmovementhotmail.com. Okay, if you want a pump instead of a semi-auto, this thing might actually be worth the money. And you know what I'm saying, that, guys? The ergos are pretty damn good for a first-time trial. And, I, and I'm kind of maybe switching from pumps to semis in kind of way. And I like mini, shell, mini shells until recently were my HD option. If my new one works, semi-auto, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't take mini shells. So I got to find the right kind of lowest recoil that will function it. Double off. Number one, I prefer for home defense. It, my number one choice is the mixed buck number one, number four buck. Okay, that's my, from Aguila. That's my number one. And a Canadian company makes it too, I think, champion. Something similar. It's really good as well. Smith & Wesson, you did a great thing. I think this is great for certain management, certain SWAT, special teams. I think it could be great. Uh, guys, please always thumbs up, share, subscribe. Uh, you know, hit up Dan the Wolfman and all that. And my new channel, Pew Reviews. Dan the Wolfman and Pew Reviews. But, why well, I'm impressed, it cycled perfect, fast or slow, and in the videos I've seen, and it went from super hot two and three quarter slugs, 1600 feet per second, and then switched, even in the same tube, not at the separate tube, into the mini shell slugs. And if it runs mini shell uh, buck, then it's great. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Get in the comments. Do you like it? Do you think it's a good option? A little expensive. Is it worth it? High quality. Smith & Wesson. Get in touch.